Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about the essay called What is an Author, written by Michel Foucault in 1969. He was a French philosopher, historian of ideas, social theorist, and he could be called both structuralist and post-structuralist and literary critic. Check the link in the description to know more about him. Let's get started with synopsis of the essay. So, in the main essay, at beginning, we see that Foucault acknowledges the effect of some radical modern criticism to abolish the idea of author as origin and owner of his work. And with the end of the essay, there is a vision of a culture in which literature would circulate anonymously means essay will circulate without the name of an author who wrote it. But whether this vision offers an attractive prospect is open to arguments. Now, let's jump into the essay. First of all, we should keep in mind that what is an author is a lecture delivered at Collège de France in Paris on literary theory in 1969 and was later translated into English in 1979. Next, second important thing is the whole and sole purpose of Foucault's writing this essay was his reaction to Roland Barthes' essay, The Death of the Author, written in 1969. In this essay, Barth denies author as origin and owner of his work. To respond Barth, Foucault explains the relation between text and author. Here he quotes Samuel Bucket, who says, What difference does it make who is speaking? This indifference reveals the manner in which one speaks and writes. Foucault explains it with two major themes. First is, today's writing freed itself from the dimension of expression means Foucault wants to say that writing should be arranged less according to its sign-signifier relation, that is, without being restricted to its interiority of the text, but rather should be more focused on signified dimension so that one can have multiple meanings of the text, that is, to unfold exteriority. The next theme is relation between writing and death. Foucault here says, giving the example of the Greek epic that in this epic, immortality of the hero was expected. This means, even if the hero died, his good works kept the people inspired and so he became immortal. But, contrastingly, now writer's work possesses the right to kill. Means, the writer who is the main person behind writing a text must assume the role of dead man in the game of writing, as in the case of Flaubert, Prost and Kafka. Next, he says that, a certain number of notions that are intended to replace the privileged position of author actually seems to preserve that privilege and suppress the real meaning of his disappearance. So, what are these notions? Let's see. First is the idea of work. Here, he says, task of criticism is not to bring out relationship between work and author or not to reconstruct a thought or experience but its task is to analyze the work through its structure, its architecture and its intrinsic form and the play of its internal relations. Now, for example, the writer Amitav Ghosh. He is writing a book. On other hand, he also writes other related stuff. Let's say a book of articles which he further wants to read. Now, both this work are done by him. But can we call it a work? The answer to this question is no. because. Foucault says there is no clear definition of work and there is no such theory to understand work of an author. So, it is not correct to study the work without writer. Second is the notion of writing. Foucault says that today's notion of writing is trying to change the privileged position of author into an anonymous one. He further says that it is not worthy to repeat after Nietzsche that God and man died a common death. Because if we take example of Aristotle, it is not just a proper noun like that of the rest. This brings before us various difficulties an author's name contain. First of all, author's name is not simply just a proper noun. Foucault sees that it contains two things. First is indication means, for example, there is a book and it indicates the author who writes it. And second is the designation means, Name of an author has some weight or status. Therefore, 
ऑथर्स नेम परफॉर्म सर्टन रोल इन रिगार्ड टू नरेटिव डिस्कोर्स नेक्स्ट इट परफॉर्म्स क्लासिफेक्टरी फंक्शन मीन्स वन कैन सी दैट दिस टेक्स्ट इज रिटर्न बाय सो एंड सो ऑथर एंड इट ऑल्सो परमिट्स टू ग्रुप टूगेदर सर्टन नंबर ऑफ टेक्स एज वेल एज डिफ्रेंशिएट दैम देन इट एस्टैब्लिशेज होमिजिनिटी फिलियशन रेसिप्रोकल एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड ऑथेंटिकेशन हियर होमिजिनिटी मीन्स इफ वी टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ शेक्सपियर वी फाइंड सम एलिमेंट सिमिलर इन हिज वेरियस टेक्स सो फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन से इट इज रिटर्न बाय शेक्सपियर नेक्स्ट फिलियशन मीन्स ऑथर्स नेम एक्सप्लेन टू अर्स फ्रॉम वेर द टेक्स्ट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम देन रेसिप्रोकल एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड ऑथेंटिकेशन मीन्स वंस द वर्क इज पब्लिश एंड ऑथेंटिकेटेड देन रीडर गिव देर फीडबैक टू ऑथर सो अ टू वे कम्युनिकेशन इज क्रिएटेड नेक्स्ट ऑथर्स नेम मैनिफेस्ट द अपेरेंस ऑफ सर्टन डिस्कसिव सेट एंड इंडिकेट्स द स्टेटस ऑफ दिस डिस्कोर्स विद इन अ सोसाइटी एंड कल्चर मीन्स author's name reveals the nature of a particular controversial set and shows its status in society and culture further we at time see some anonymous text posted on wall probably it has editor but not an author the author function is the characteristic of the mode of existence circulation and functioning of certain discourses within a society so we need for author functions to authorize ideas for operation of discourse as a classificatory tool and to create relatedness so let's analyze what this author function is first function is judicial and institutional system so this function contains determines and makes clear and effective the universe of discourse on this foucault says we know that earlier text who had author became subject to punishment and once the system of ownership for text came somewhere between 18th century to beginning of 19th century the act of writing became the form of an important peculiar to literature next is the function of historical variation pointing this foucault says that author function does not affect all discourses in the same manner at all times and in all types of civilization there was a time when the literary texts like that of narratives stories epics tragedies and comedies were accepted as well as circulated and there was no question on the identity of their author on the other hand in the middle ages we find that scientific texts natural sciences and geography were accepted as being true only when the text had the name of their author third function is the external attribution this says that not only the individual author is responsible for writing a text but also other things such as deep motives creative power pleasant surrounding social context and so on are contributed for writing a text it seems that the manner in which literary criticism once defined the author is derived from the manner in which christian tradition authenticated texts therefore in order to rediscover an author in a work modern criticism also uses method similar to that of christian demands used to prove the value of a text by its author's scentlessness here saint jerome in concerning illustrious man explains that homonomy is not sufficient to identify author of more than one word different individuals could have the same name or one could have borrowed author's patronymic so to attribute several discourses to one and the same author he possesses four criteria first if all among several books attributed to an author if one is inferior to the other it must be withdrawn from the list of author's work then if certain text contradicts it should also be removed work that are written in different style words and expression also tells that it is not of the same author quoting and mentioning that occurred after the author's death must be regarded as interpolated text this means to induce or insert false word into a text thus author can be defined as a constant level of value the stylistic unity and a historical figure further modern literary criticism define the author as one who provides basis for explaining certain events their transformation distortions and diverse modification through his biography individual perspective his social position and the base design author is the principle of certain unity maturation or influence 
author serves to neutralize the contradiction in a series of text author is a source of expression therefore even if the critics banish the real author whose name is associated with set of works the author functions as function so the author as a person may be upset from his work but he is present in it as a certain functional principle lastly the fourth principle is of multiple individualities means author function does not refer purely and simply to a real individual since it can give rise simultaneously to several cells to several subjects positions that can be occupied by different classes of individual after having discussed the author functions what are the outcomes of it we see that author function creates consistency also generates fear of proliferation and danger to comprehend next fuko confesses that he discuss author in the limited sense of a person to whom the production of text book or work can be attributed he gives two position in this regard first one can be author more than a book one can be author of theory of tradition or of discipline in which other books and author will in their turn find a place this author are in position of transcursive for example aristotle homer and the church fathers also the first mathematicians and more on can be said to be in transcursive position next in 19th century there appeared author who were neither greater literary author or author of religious text nor founder of science they are called the founder of discursivity this means they are unique that they are not just author of their own works but they have also produced various possibilities and the rule for formation of other texts fuko cited various example like that of sigmund freud galileo saussure etc but just for the purpose to understand the context in clear way i am choosing karl marx so karl marx he is not just author of communist manifesto or das kapital he had established endless possibility of discourse and credited himself to be called the founder of discursivity finally fuko makes distinction between traditional meaning of author and what he means by author typology of discourse cannot be constructed alone from grammatical features formal structures and object of discourse one must distinguish the major category form of relationship constitute one of these discursive properties Foucault believed that discourse should not be studied only in terms of their expressive value or formal transformation but according to the mode of existence and the manner in which they are articulated according to social relationship can be more readily understood next there are reasons dealing with ideological status of author here we must reverse the traditional idea of author here truth is author is not an indefinite source of signification as author is the one who fills a work and the author does not precede the work in fact if we say author as genius it is because in reality we make him function in exactly opposite fashion so one can say that author is ideologically product by which one makes the manner in which we fear the proliferation of meaning therefore in 18th century author has played the role of regulator of fictive Foucault expresses doubt about survival of author function in the years to come and once at the same breath that it would give rise to anonymity of murmur that would take us back where Foucault begins his essay by quoting Samuel Beckett that what difference does it make who is speaking so that's it for this video see you next time if you like my video then please don't forget to subscribe thank you